welcome to MS4. And today, this is the sizzle. Uh, in films, whenever you're pitching a film, uh, they want you to talk about the sizzle and the steak. Uh, if you don't have the sizzle, the excitement, uh, nobody will come to see your picture. But if you don't have the steak, um, the meat of the product, basically, um, if you don't have that, people won't recommend that their friends go and see the film and it won't have what they call legs. Um, so you won't make any money and get any viewers on the long haul. Um, so in this case, we're talking about makeup. And these are all things that I picked up uh, because the sizzle was real. Um, and I am proud to report that there is also steak in this equation. If you're vegan, think tofu. Um, very, very good tofu. Nice, firm tofu. Um, anyway, so here we are at the sizzle. So I'm gonna start in with a body care product. Um, now I am super excited about this because uh, as with everything, products are either fulfilling a need or making you, or giving you a feeling. Um, and for me, body scrub was a need. Um, I have been using the KP Bumper Race. Um, now the, the problem, there's several problems with this. I like the actual product itself, but the tube is a super heavy plastic. And so you can't hardly get it out except for squeezing it very tightly. Um, now it's not like the peach and lily where you just can't get the product out the bottom of it. This one, the product will come out, but it's also very hard when you get lower down because you can't really rinse it out um, and get the product. Um, the other huge drawback is that this makes a mess in my tub. Um, it makes it where it's like a sand trap. Um, and so I was looking for solutions at this point to solve these problems. Now I am on Tatcha's mailing list. Um, so when this launched, uh, they posted both uh, some visuals of it on like if you follow Trend Mood, um, they came out with a body oil, a body lotion and a body scrub. Now I was not in the need of the lotion or the oil. Um, but I was still looking for that holy grail of a body scrub. So they came out with this first, and this is the Hinoki body scrub uh, in the Forest Awakening scent. Uh, so I was waffling at first because fragrance is an issue with me. Um, I should have trusted that Tatcha would make a fragrance that I would like, and they did, spoiler alert. Um, but I was like, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna order it off the, the Tatcha side. I'm gonna wait till it comes to Sephora. That way I can smell it in store um, and decide whether or not I wanna spend the coin for this as a, as a body scrub. It took forever. Um, and I got to the point where I was like despairing that it was never going to come to Sephora. So then one fine day, it shows up on the Sephora website, so I, go on to my, my local Sephora store. I come in, they don't have it. They weren't getting it in store. They weren't gonna be getting it in store. Um, and so I was like, okay, you just need to, to trust Tatcha and get the product. Um, so I did. Now, uh, the scrubbies in this feel very smooth. Um, if you were comparing this, you know, this is a, a more gritty sandpaper, uh, and this is a lighter type. This doesn't have that scrubby, scratchy feel to it. It's very soft and it feels more like it's a, a rounded product, even though it isn't. Um, and I did a science project. I put some of this in a cup of water, uh, told my partner not to drink it, <laughs> um, that I was doing science. Um, and so it doesn't really have uh, any sort of a, a colored or a textured or a sandy uh, grit that it leaves behind. So that was a big bonus. So we did that science project. Uh, no one drank it accidentally and died. Uh, they wouldn't anyway, because it's mostly natural sort of things, uh, but they might've had more of a regular sort of a day, if you know what I mean. Um, but what I'm happy to report, the forest awakening, um, as, a, as a person who, you know, it's like, well, it, it smells like a forest and a teacup. Uh, and then I'm like, well, what kind of forest does it smell like? Um, does it smell like a pine forest or, you know, a cedar forest? You know, I'm, today I'm wearing my Sequoia National Forest t-shirt just for this video. Um, but 
so reading in the ingredients, I had an idea like they have it's cedar is what they're the kind of note that they're focusing on. But then it's like, well, is it a nice cedar forest actually, or is it going to smell like a you know cedar hope chest that's been you know decaying somewhere? Uh, happy to report, it's a very light scent. It smells like a little a little herbaly, um, a little cedary, but it's very nice. Um, this could be a very nice unisex sort of uh, shower situation. Um, so anybody could really use it. It doesn't scream female, male, you know, in those traditional scent profile ways. It's just very nice. Um, so I'm happy to report this is a nice product. It's gentle enough to use every day. Um, what I could say is that if you're looking for more of the, the rough scrubby to get things off, um, you could use this once a week. And then the rest of the time you could use this and this is great maintenance and it does a really good job of making your fin your skin your fins <laughs> if you're a fish it's really nice um of making your skin feel soft and smooth but not overly stripped or dry um, and it is more of a gel sort of formula and i would pour it out to show it to you but i'm you know it's an expensive product it's gel like with small uh bead like scrubbies in it and it's those scrubbies feel very rounded and non-abrasive um, but they do a gentle job of scrubbing so anyway I'm really enjoying this will repurchase when I'm out of it um, I'm not going to show you this just trust me it's a, a gel it's a semi-thick gel there you go okay so I'm really happy I picked it up sorry that I took me so long I should have just bought it from the Tatcha website when it came out but you live and you learn. All right, so next on the sizzle, um, Fenty. They did an amazing job. Like I was, I was intrigued and in looking at the, the beautiful colors of this uh, when I saw the, the promo pictures. And then I, I knew I was wanting to pick up the, the cream blush and I walked into Ulta and ooh, they had a beautiful setup. It was just bye bye ham. Um, and one thing I will say, Fenty has done an amazing job of uh, designing their unit cartons. Unit cartons. Um, I have to say it that way because if it's a unit carton, I think of uh, the Dungeons and Dragons cartoon. The, and uni. Eee! Yeah. Uh, unit cartons. <laughs> so they've just done a fantastic, beautiful job of creating an outer packaging. Now, you know, you're not going to be probably keeping this. Um, some of the, the products that I get, I do scrapbook, uh, some of the, the packaging because I find it so incredibly well thought out. But this is truly beautiful packaging. Um, it feels special limited edition holiday just from the outer packaging of it. And I'm not mad about that. Um, now, I, the thing that I had wanted to pick up was the compact. And this is so pretty. Just the color, the shiny, and it's the larger size, uh, so you're looking more at like the size for the bronzer um, in this. And you're getting two shades. Here we go. And what I will say is that this shade I tend to use more um, and because it just creates a nice wash. And it seems more believable as a flush for me. This is a little too bright for that. So if I were just going to be wearing this color by itself, I would keep it more on the frontal parts of my cheekbones and just dab it on lightly. Um, this color I would do in the cheekbones and wash up over it and I could do the, the full cheek. Um, so we're doing both of them, but I've done one side, first this side, and then this side with only that color and then gone back in and, and put them together so you can see them all together. Um, I prefer formulations that are a little bit drier that go on to the cheeks and then don't feel tacky or sticky. Um, the only time that I've ever really swayed from that, the Danessa Myricks uh, Dewy Cheek uh, Tint, Cheek and Lip Tint, um, that one is a little more emollient, but I do like that formula, but mostly I like the more drier formula. So if you don't like that, you if you like that more dewy, wet sort of a, a cream, you're not gonna like this. Um, but for me, it's great. Like I can put it on and I don't even technically need to powder over it. Um, so I can limit some of my powder usage if my face is feeling extra dry. 
but this color is just so pretty and the packaging so pretty get your fingerprints all over it but I'm not mad at it um so now while I was there uh, I did look at other uh, things from the launch um now I had known that I wasn't really wanting to pick up any of the sorry I dropped what I was going to show you next um I wasn't really going to to get any of the gloss bombs um I don't appreciate the formula of the gloss bombs it's not my favorite gloss and so the gloss trio really wasn't going to be an issue. That wasn't even something I was going to look at. Um, also, the three lip colors that they were launching um, of the full size from the line. Um, also, pretty dark berries that I wasn't really up for. Um, but I was looking at the lipstick minis. They have little tiny Fenty lipstick minis uh, in Scholar Sister and MVP. Now, MVP is a true red. Uh, Scholar Sister is more of that on that mauve pink color. And I ended up swatching both of those in store. And I really liked the Scholar Sister and thought that that was a color I was going to be able to wear. Um, the MVP, not so much. And what I've found lately is that the, the little minis of things, if I've never tried a formula before, it's a, it's a nice way to try something, especially if I can get a sample like that uh, for, with purchase um, or as a gift with purchase. Um, but the little ones tend to just get lost in my, they, they are all over the place. And then I end up decluttering them. Uh, so I, I was not really interested in the, the smaller ones, but something that I had looked at and loved the way it looked, but I thought, when am I gonna use a refillable lip case? Well, here it is. Yeah, I folded. Um, this has got this great packaging of the normal ones, but it's in the same like berry color. And it's shiny and they got me I saw this on the display and I had been kind of like ooh before but when I saw it it was like oh, okay I'm done for um so what I decided instead of trying to get the little ones uh this was just the case is $12 and then you get this is the the fill of the lipstick so instead of getting the holiday colors I ended up getting the scholar sister that was in the small mini in a full-sized replaceable and I got the the um, case, the shiny, shiny berry case. Um, so I'll swatch this and then I've got a swatch on of the uh, other color that's on my lips right now. But I figured the, the lip color I would use a full size of it. Now it does have a scent. Okay, so this is the, the Scholar Sister. So see, that's just that, that mauve -y sort of a tone. Um, and like I said, all of the holiday, and this is what the replacement tube for the full size looks like. Um, so I figure I'll get more use out of a full size lipstick. It does have a scent to it. It's more a cross between a fruity and a floral sort of a scent. It is there, but it does, um, it's, it's not completely, you know, where I'm like, oh no, I can't do this. Um, there's some fragrances that like one of the, the Dior uh, lip, the matte lip cream sort of a formula, uh, the scent was so much and didn't dissipate that I just couldn't do it. Um, so this is scented, but it's not bad. It's, it's nice, it's doable, um, and it dissipates enough that I'm okay with it being next to my nose. Um, so that's what I got. I got the, the cream blush duo, uh, the, refillable lip case and Scala Sista uh, to refill it with a full size. Um, but other than that, I was not interested in the liquid highlighter so much, um, but they did get me that wonderful, wonderful display shining. Um, I'm a sucker. I admit it. They got the sizzle right. Fenty got the sizzle spot on. Okay. So now next things probably that you've all been seeing lately, the new Pat McGrath, um, now, so many people have been doing this. I'm not going to do just a dedicated video on it. Uh, but what I wanted to know basically um, is I was really curious about this color right here uh, because in some of the promo pictures and in some people's lighting, um, it read as more of a, a deep brown. 
and that was interesting to me because these are all more bronzy tones. Um, some of them are more peachy bronzy, some of them are more brown bronzy, uh, some of them are more pinky uh, toned in this, but it was like, is this a black? No, it is not. Um, is it a gray, like a charcoal gray? More so. Um, will it read brown? If you were in more yellow lighting, it will lean slightly brown. If you are more in the cool blue lighting, it will lean more charcoal blue. Um, so it is kind of a little bit of a chameleon, but it is not black. Um, it is not fully opaque. It's more of a silky light read of of a gray, of that, that sort of a gray. Um, but I'm gonna insert the pictures because I wanted to see how smoky, how blingy of an eye I could get. This shade right here is in that liquid molten metal and it, behaves a lot like the sh the super shocks from ColourPop. Um it's very wet, it's very glisteny, um and it has that just really big payoff as far as the bling. Um so you can technically go super blingy with this, but you can also go really soft, do one of the lighter colors, it does a wash. This is a little bit of a liner put on some mascara and it can it can go and be really super just mellow and beautiful. Um, so this one has the, the pink packaging, little baby blue, you know, so this is all your, like your nude, sort of more of the bronzy tones to it. Um, and all of these are in the magnetic paper uh, packaging, which I appreciate um, because I, the, the whole black Lux packaging is so heavy and I can never see what the color, what it is, if it's in its packaging. And this is just small, portable. I wouldn't be afraid to, to take this places. Um, and that idea of it eventually being recyclable is pretty fantastic. Um, you just need to take out the magnets um, and then it's paper and then you just can lift it all. So I feel like that's a lot closer to being fully recyclable than, than the other ones that are, you know, made to, to last over time, I guess. Um, <clears throat> now this is the one I'm wearing today. Um, has the hot pink interior of the the PML logo. Um, and these are the colors. Now these, again, because it's a five pan palette, you're more limited to what you can do. And there isn't that kind of a, a quicksilver, super shocky sort of a shade um, in this one. Although you can get good reads of light off of all of them. Um, and so today I just did a three eye look because I was gonna keep it in the berries to go with my, my berry. Uh, sort of thing. But again, you have more of a bronzy pink on the end. You've got, this is the berry one that I went in with, got a more peachy, and then this is your light creamy pink. And then there is your, your kind of the light eggplant amethyst sort of a color. Um, but I've, I've really enjoyed this. Uh, I feel like a lot of people have done different looks on this. You're not going to get staggering really different looks um but you're you're gonna get pretty looks that are easy to put together um you can put together a you know this eye look super fast and it looks nice um what i will say i i never appreciate the fact that pat mcgrath has not figured out how to be cruelty free um but she is a black woman competing in the luxury space um so i really you know i get conflicted because i'd like to support that um but I, I wish the brand would go cruelty free, but I do appreciate this kind of packaging over the normal packaging. And this is also a little more affordable price point for your entry. Uh, for holiday, you could gift this and the outer packaging looks exactly like this. So it's very festive. And there was a heckle of, a, just lots of sizzle on this one. Like it looks beautiful. I never trust uh, the Pat McGrath site, their swatches. They never look like they really look for the most part. So I always, you know, I tend to try and wait to see people swatching things. The only problem with the limited edition for waiting for that is you may miss out. But FOMO aside, um, you know, it's it's worth picking up. I feel like this is quality if you want some pretty shadows to play with. I feel like it's worth, the sizzle was definitely there. And I think that the, the steak is also there in this. Um, so, you know, depending on, on, is it more important that it's, cruelty free? Is it more important to support a, a black woman in the luxury space? Um, or do you just want something that's going to go on easy, look cute, or do you want a giftable? Um, so you have to do that math yourself. But 
I picked it up. Um, I picked both of those up and they're really pretty eye looks. I, I will be very happy welcoming these into the collection. Um, and now, so Rare Beauty launched this and it is just available right now on the, the Rare Beauty website. 100% of this goes to a fund that helps uh, with mental health uh, for underserved communities. And so with 100% of the proceeds going to that, and the fact that this is looks just like a really lovely berry for fall, I was like, okay, done. Um, I like this formula. It's soft, it's matte, it goes on pretty much feels like nothing's there. Um, I just have it on my lips today, probably if I weren't doing this for uh, to show what the color looks like. I would probably do a liner and a little bit of, I might do a gloss if I wanted a more of a glossy or I might have do a, a thing. But this is the color swatched. Good wear time, comfortable, matte. Um, it did come with this. Got a little drawstring on it, little uh, canvas bag that you could put things with. Um, and the nice thing about Rare Beauty too is they do have an option to click if you want them to mail things without any of the uh, the packaging that goes with it. If you want less packaging, if you want to cut down on waste and uh, things that may or may not be recyclable, recyclable. I can say this. Um, you can opt out and they'll just put it in a, a packaging envelope and not all the bells and whistles. So you can save uh, save the planet one makeup buy at a time. Uh, but I thought that this was really cute. Um, I liked the, again, the colors, very fall. Um, and I, I like the product. This is something that I have uh, other colors in, in my collection. Um, so I probably, like I said, I would, I would do a lip liner with it, kind of play around with that. But I'm really happy with this for fall. I think this is gonna be a great, great product. Um, and in this case, the Sizzle was both the product, but it was really uh, something that I want to support in the world. It sizzled with this whole mental health. <laughs> mental health was sexy, come on, I did it. Um, so they got me with that Sizzle, the fact that 100% of the proceeds uh, are donated to a fund for mental health. For underserved communities so I feel like you know sometimes the sizzle is is not what you think it is the draw on the pole and the sizzle is you're doing good for humanity and that feels good and the the product is not secondary but you know you know it's gonna be a fabulous product and you're doing good in the world so it's like win-win so anyway there is your sizzle for the day. Um, hope you found it helpful. Hopefully there was some steak in there for you as well or some uh, very firm tofu. Um, hope you're having a great day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.